Anybody else trying to like face plant into this right now? Today we're gonna burn a cheesecake. We're gonna do my burnt bath cheesecake, which is a recipe that I developed after a trip to Spain to San Sebastian to the temple of Basque cheesecakes. It's called La Vina. And the thing that's so freaking great about this recipe is that it's the anti-cheesecake, which means it gets cooked at very high heat and you burn it, it will crack, it will brown, there's no crust, there's no water bath. It's the easiest cheesecake and consequently the most delicious cheesecake I've ever had. Into the stand mixer, I'm going to paddle a shit ton of cream cheese. This is two pounds of cream cheese. Philadelphia's finest. So this has two pounds of cream cheese and one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And I am just paddling this on low. This is a 10 inch spring form pan and I'm gonna grease it with some butter. And then we're gonna line it with parchment in a kind of a wackadoodle way. Um, but that's what's gonna give this cheesecake a really interesting um, ridged edge, which you'll see when it comes out of the oven. Um, but for now, it's gonna look like I'm just cramming a bunch of parchment really messily into a pan, which is what I'm doing. So normally, the first thing you would do is make a crust and press that into the pan and blind bake it. Um, this is a crustless cake, and I don't miss the crust in this cake because it gets so burnt on the outside that you develop some of that crust-like dark flavor without actually making a crust. Two pieces of parchment. You can kind of fold to create some pleats so that it stands up well. So really don't need to be a perfectionist about this. As I said, it's the anti-cheesecake. We don't fuss over it. We just go for it. We're gonna cook this cheesecake at a really high heat, which means that it's gonna really rapidly rise. You'll see when it comes out of the oven, it's gonna be puffed up. And then as it cools, it will fall. But you wanna have enough support through the parchment when it, as it's rising in the oven. So that's why we do this double layer of parchment. All right, back to the cream cheese. You'll see recipes for this online. This one differs from other recipes for burnt basque cheesecake in the sense that I have added in some vanilla and some salt to it, which you don't often see because there's a lot of neutral fat in this cake. There's a lot of cream cheese and there's a lot of heavy cream. And I think that it needs a little bit something to bring all of that flavor up. Okay, so this has been mixing for just a couple of minutes. You can test by just putting it between your fingers and if you don't feel any grit from the granulated sugar, then you know that it's dissolved. Now the eggs. So there's a lot of egg in here and a lot of egg white in here and that's what gives the cheesecake all of the lift in the oven and subsequently results in a really light fluffy texture. If you've ever had Japanese cloud cake, it's not unlike that. So one egg at a time, beating until each of them is combined before adding another. Okay, so the first one's incorporated, in with another, and then I'm gonna scrape down the sides because I can see that some of that cream cheese still hasn't been incorporated with the egg. You could do this with an electric hand mixer as well, just on medium-low speed. Two cups of heavy cream. It's a lot of heavy cream, I don't know what to tell you other than that it's delicious. They have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. As I said, it's not a traditional ingredient, but I think it helps build a lot of flavor in this cheesecake. And then one teaspoon kosher salt, which is doing the same thing. Okay, so we're mostly incorporated. And now I'm going to sift one third a cup of flour right into this. And this just helps bind the cake ever so slightly. It's not a cakey cheesecake. It's a custardy one, but you need a little bit of flour for structure. It's Friday. Why do we shoot on Friday? My brain is fried. My brain is fried So this is the consistency that we're looking for in the batter. And then we're gonna pour it right in to the pan. And you're gonna see that some of the batter gets caught in some of those folds and that's all just fine. Just smoothing it out a little bit. So we're going into a 400 degree oven on the center rack 
for about 60 to 65 minutes. We'll keep an eye on things. We're 20 minutes in. This cake is nowhere near being done, but I just want you to see what it looks like at this stage. It hasn't developed any color yet, and it looks more along the lines of what you expect a New York style cheesecake to look like. But we're gonna throw it back in there and let it go for at least another 40 minutes. Okay, so it's been about an hour, and I think that the cheesecake is sufficiently burnt. So let's go check it out. Molly, have you been waiting all day to say that? Yeah. I mean, I just love the fact that I get to burn this thing. Here we are. So not only are you looking for deep, dark color all over, but you're looking for a good jiggle. This is approximately how much jiggle you're looking for. It's not a joke. This is a real indicator in the recipe. So this has risen probably four inches. And as it cools now, it's going to collapse and fall and compress into a shorter cheesecake. We have waited patiently and the cake is now room temperature. So I can remove the spring form pan and then you'll just peel away the parchment to reveal that beautiful burnished crust. And then we eat it. I'm so <laughs> excited about this right now. Look at that butte. I'm telling you, this is literally the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. And it's also the most impressive. Okay, cheesecake time. That's why I like it. It's breaking all the rules. All the rules. We like to break rules. So light. So light and fluff. So fluffy. My mistake is I always eat. I, want to say my I eat later. so much of this so fast, and then I always. It's kind of deceivingly light. Like it's actually a gut bomb, even though it's quite light on the palate. So you kind of have to take it easy. How many so bars of cream cheese? Is it two or three? Uh, four. What? It's two pounds, and they're each half a pound. So it's four bars of cream cheese and two cups of heavy cream. Not we are not. <laughs> Around. That is not right. Are you okay? I'm just shocked by the amount of cream. Andy cheese. hasn't had this much fat ever in his life. No, I have, just not in the form of dairy. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you guys. No Thanks, Molly. I take mine for later. I'll just keep on drinking. Just have that. <gasps> what a party. <laughs> you know? Just overwhelmed by that huge party we just had. So truly, it couldn't be easier. I think it's kind of a showstopper because it's dark brown on the outside and bright white on the inside. It's really, really, really hard to mess it up. And it's really, really, really delicious. It looks relatively smooth in here. I'm not gonna... Happy Friday, everyone. Jeez Louise.